now. My dad actually was a gangster. Wanted me to be a gangster as a little kid. I had to go away to a little mafia camp when I was a child. I did. I went to Camp La Cosa Nostra. Good camp. Rival camp, Romine. Camp of district attorney's kids. Camp subpoena. <laughs> Where they used to ride their, their ponies over to our campfire late at night, and they would tip over our campfire, then they'd ride away. So late at night, we'd go over there and cut the little ponies' heads off, put them in their sleeping bags. <laughs> Screw them, I got a merit badge for that. <laughs> used to play little camp games. My favorite was hide and go testify. That was, uh, <laughs> hide and go testify. Are you getting any of this at all so far? Because you're staring at me like a dog watching a ceiling fan right now. Come on. <laughs> Jump in. Are you Italian? No. You look. You look like Mario from Donkey Kong. Did you get a look at this guy? You do. Kind of. Who's this guy? This guy used to fight Superman. Well, you're uh, Lex Luthor. That's a good look you got going. I like that, the whole bald thing. You could turn your head upside down, wouldn't make much of a difference. That'd be the same deal. <laughs> Where are the nickel slot players? Where are you at? Let me ask you a question. Yeah, you back there? How bad does your life got to get you play nickel slots? You ever played nickel slots? You win like 4,000 coins, you're jumping up and down, it's $4. Give you a bucket big enough to take a bath in your drink. We got enough for a magazine. I don't play the slots. I drink too much. I got liquored up one night, I played a cigarette machine for an hour and a half. That is one. When guys, back when we were kids, when you got drunk, you had no designated driver. Designated driver back then was the only guy who hadn't thrown up on himself. Remember that? Walk out of there, Ronnie, how many fingers? Seven. Well, you're closer than me. Okay. <laughs> Can I tell you, I don't even understand the concept of, of strip clubs. I, I'm honest to God. Because, no, you go in there and you're dancing. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to give you a bunch of money and you're going to tease me and then go away. That's like, going to a, that's like going to a buffet and going in there and saying, uh, hey, a lot of food in here. I don't get any? Okay, fine, here's $5. Let me just look at the salad bar. You with your girlfriend? Nope. You're by yourself, yep. but you're with all these people. Right. And are they relatives? Friends. Friends from where? Now, no offense, but you're like a 22-year-old kind of hip kid, and there's uh, probably a 40-plus woman here that looks like she might work in a library. She's crazy. No, I don't know how old you are, ma'am, and I won't ask your age, because that's rude. Would never ask your age. How much you weigh, though? Just, uh, <laughs> what? I don't know how old you are, you look good. What are you, sleeping in Tupperware? You look pretty fresh. You really do, you look. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna talk bad about my ex-wife, because, well, court order. So I can't, but, uh, <laughs> I was married to her four and a half years. Fifteen if you count the wind chill factor. It was, uh, <laughs> boy, it was cold in that house. I remember just sitting there with a pair of mittens and an Elmer Fudd hat on, just trying to be very, very quiet. I, uh, I hated her. You got a kid, right? What? How old is he? He's uh, 26 months. 26 months, which would be two years and a little, a little plus. Two years plus. Two years, two Are you going to keep the month thing going forever? <laughs> How old is he? He's uh, 340 months. He's, uh... <laughs> Grandpa died, he was 7,000 months. <laughs> okay, I got a five-year-old daughter I'm crazy about. I'm crazy about. I would like to just hang around her <laughs> and her friends. I like her little friends. I'd like to work at a daycare, but I don't think they're going to let me because uh, I helped out at a daycare one time, and uh, they wouldn't take a nap, so I gave all the little kids about this much NyQuil. And they... Uh, <laughs> A lot of them slept till their parents got there. <laughs> do what's fun is when they start walking on you. You learn how to walk. My daughter didn't actually walk, walk. What she do is she get a hold on to the furniture like this, and then she walk, hold the furniture. Look like a little drunken midget. <laughs> I got drunk with her one night. We did it together. It was the cutest. <laughs> really. It was cute. Y'all seen it. She's like, come on, Dad. I'll show you a shortcut to the kitchen. Follow me. <laughs> Just, now, hey, take your time, because you're going to hit your head again, all right? Let's stop and pee first. You want to pee? Let's pee. <laughs> hey, you don't got a diaper on. What are you, an idiot? <laughs> so I was thinking, what else can I do to be with the children? So I thought I'll be the guy that run the ride at the fair. They're called the uh, carny guys. <laughs> I thought I'd be a carny guy until I actually saw a carny guy up close. 
Now I don't want that job, because uh, apparently there's no dental plan. So, uh, you've seen them. Come on, you've seen these guys up close, haven't you? Talk about lousy jobs. There's the worst job in the world. The guy that works at the Quick Trip late at night. The guy that's got the job 4 o'clock in the morning in the lousy neighborhood. I was in a quick trip one night, and I finally told the kid, I said, you know, you're going to get killed in this place. And he's like, no, sir, we have things to protect us in case there's trouble. <laughs> so what do you got? He said, well, we got that surveillance camera up there. I said, that'll basically show how you got killed. <laughs> what else you got, Skippy? Here's what he told me. He said, well, we've got, uh, we've got uh, uh, height charts on the door, the height thing. You ever seen the height charts on the door? There's height charts on the door. I said, what's that for? He said, well, in case we get robbed, we can tell the police how tall the robber is, and then catch them. I said, that's if the robber will cooperate and stand underneath him before he leaves. What, does he rob you, then run to the door and go like that, then take off? You moron! That's not even the stupid part. The stupid part is they, they actually have on the high chart, it actually goes down all the way to four feet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You get robbed by somebody four feet tall, you freaking deserve to be robbed, don't you? You're a wussy. Benny, you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Good night. See you around.